after months of discussion and testing the waters, the Wisconsin DNR is holding General Motors responsible for contaminants found in the Rock River in Janesville. News 3's Jenna Mida is live in our Rock County Bureau with more details tonight. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Charlotte. The DNR sent General Motors this letter yesterday that says it's on GM to clean up a section of the Rock River that has contaminants in the sediment. A report in early January was the first tip that there was something fishy in the water. The findings showed contamination in the sediments of the, the Rock River near and upstream from the former GM facility. That prompted several meetings over the course of the year with GM, the city, and the DNR. Those discussions led to the DNR sending GM a letter saying the company is, quote, responsible for investigating and restoring the environment. We're committed to being a responsible corporate citizen, uh, you know, and, and just as we have, we're going to continue to work with the city of Janesville and with the state of Wisconsin, uh, you know, to to uh, address this issue. Well, it's good for the river to get cleaned up, and it's good that the DNR is taking this action, and, and they've identified somebody to, to be responsible for the cleanup. The DNR is making GM get a move on the cleanup process. Within 30 days, the company has to hire an environmental consultant, and within 60, it has to submit a work plan. We plan to perform some additional investigative work uh, this month. But there's no telling how long it could be before the river actually gets cleaned. I don't think we really know at this point how long this is going to take. And while the contamination isn't good for the environment, the DNR says it shouldn't hurt the community. You know, the Wisconsin DNR has indicated to us that there's no immediate risk to the public from either fish consumption or direct contact with the water. GM says this won't prevent the, the company from selling the plant, and the city of Janesville says it's working with both the DNR and GM, but it says ultimately the DNR is responsible for making sure GM gets the river clean. Jenna Middob reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Jenna.